RPS had its latest board meeting tonight. Our Noah Kaplan joins us in our uh, studio with more on what was uh, discussed. And Noah, what were some of the big issues tonight? Well, Tom, the biggest items were discussing RPS educational outcomes, such as graduation rates compared to other districts. Also, a review process on the interim superintendent, which is set to take place in December. A quieter school board meeting Tuesday. One of the major topics discussed, evaluating Rochester schools relative to similar districts in the region and throughout the state of Minnesota. Interim Superintendent Piquel weighing in on what the findings mean. When we see progress in those places, there's stuff that we can learn from. And we did that in two areas, reading and math, and then success in some kind of post-secondary education. The superintendent is also set to be evaluated for his performance in December. This is all about kids and it's about what can make uh, me better and make our system better. So I was very involved with our chair and vice chair in designing the evaluation. RPS is introducing a unique format for his evaluation, which will incorporate staff from outside the board to chime in. This is a process that they are familiar with, have done, and we can have confidence and trust in it. Also from the meeting, a man being escorted out over refusal to wear a mask. Well, I want to make sure that the school board understands that there are people in the community who have their back. This RPS parent says she started attending board meetings to show support for the board in these instances. Support. Overall, I trust the, the school board is doing a good job with what they're doing. You know, of course, there's always issues of concern here and there, but primarily I feel that good about the work the school board is doing. As per RPS rules, the individual who is escorted out is banned from the premises for one year. Back to you. Noah, thank you. Well, God